Mortgage interest rates, are they going up, are they going down? Who knows, but I'm gonna give you my interpretations, my predictions, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Emmett Dempsey, mortgage broker and owner of Treasure Coast Mortgage here in Port St. Lucie, and welcome to another video. On this channel, we talk more about mortgages, the home buying process, and some cool things around Port St. Lucie and the Treasure Coast. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. Also, go ahead and hit and smash that like button. And without that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about interest rates. Okay, interest rates. First of all, uh, 2020 was an amazing year for interest rates. And, and first and foremost, I want to thank all my clients and uh, all my clients, referral partners, uh, service providers, title companies. Everybody made 2020 a very awesome year for Treasure Coast Mortgage. And I hope to help uh, scores of other families as well for 2021. So as far as uh, as interest rates, so if, if you uh, rewind the clock to the beginning of 2020, you know, before COVID, before lockdowns, you know, all those things had a, a very drastic effect. You know, not just on the on employment market, but also on the mortgage market as well. You know, we had a, a significant drop in interest rates to all time lows. So everybody thinks like, well, are they going to go up? Are they going to go down? And you know, maybe we have potentially a new administration, and and what's going to happen? You know, I, I subscribe to, to to several sources. I just look, look and see what drives interest rates, and it's really uh, the action of of, of the mortgage backed security market. And uh, with employment and, and the anticipation of economic growth, and also for, for core inflation. So, long story short, my uh, you know right now you can get you know, good interest rates you know in the low threes, high twos. You know maybe buying it down a little bit into mid low twos. You know on a fifteen year, and sometimes you can even touch the ones. You know that's pretty crazy to me. I mean when I first started doing loans in two thousand seven, you know seven percent was all the rage. And uh, it's just funny, I tell the story, like if you go back and watch uh, Rocky II, when Adrian's talking to Rocky, like, hey, I can get a mortgage at 10%, like she's all happy about it. And like, it's 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 crazy how far interest rates have, have driven down. So, uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, my kids just got back from Flying Panda, which is a pretty cool place to bring your kids if you're a parent. I actually did a video about it. If you're gonna check it out here, this card right here. Uh, getting back to interest rates. Uh, basically, I, I think you know, 2021, we're going to see the same, same or slightly lower interest rates. I think that's the consensus that I see uh, from the uh, the rate aggregators that I see, Mortgage Banker Association, uh, MBS Highway, you know, the, the things that I subscribe to and, and that I, I read. You know, there's not um, a lot of reasons that they think that uh, interest rates are going to rise. Generally, you know, interest rates will rise when there's more demand going into the stock market. Uh, mainly as, as economic growth increases, you know, they feel the economic growth in lieu of COVID, you know, kind of a recovering economy. Um, it, it's still, there's a lot of areas of the country that are really hurting. I know Florida is, is a, an exception, you know, and I really am thankful for that. You know, there's other areas of the country that are even still locked down even today. So uh, that recovery, you know, it, it could be long. So it's going to require a lot of more, more government stimulus. And as governments uh, are continuing to buy mortgage-backed securities, it's, it's going to keep rates look, uh, pretty low for the foreseeable future. So if you haven't refinanced already, you know, you definitely you haven't missed your window. Definitely give me a call. Let's go ahead and take a look at your options. And we can see it. Or if you're looking to sell your house and, and upgrade uh, and buy your house, if you can't uh, quite find, find what you want, you know, it might be a good, good time to, to put your house in the market and sell and buy, you know, and kind of just see what's available. So that's kind of a, my uh, initial uh, estimation as far as where interest rates are going to go. I, I don't think economic growth is going to be off, off, off the charts to where it's going to put downward, pr uh, upward pressure rather on interest rates in order to stem inflation. And that's generally, you know, inflation it is the enemy of, enemy of mortgage bonds. And and uh, long story short, I think rates are going to stay the same or, or get a little bit better. So, okay, you know, right here is a few videos for you to check out. I appreciate you uh, checking them out when you get a chance. Uh, I want to thank all, all my, my awesome clients, referral partners, uh, service providers again for an amazing 2020. Have a happy new year, and I look forward to working with you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.